Good morning, y'all. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I appreciate all the shares that's um, been happening for my channel. I was talking about to my daughter um, yesterday, and um, I was just telling her that um, she's so beautiful inside and out. And she has this style about herself that's so unique. And uh, I'm just telling her that don't never try to be like any other female. Be exactly how you are because you are everybody's baby girl. You're your friend's baby girl. You, you're any person that you dating or like baby girl, like they love you. You your brother's baby girl, you your dad's baby girl, you your mama's baby girl. Like everybody loves my daughter. And I was telling her that it's something different about her. And it is. And it's not because it's my daughter, it's because it's the light in her. How sweet she is and how pure she is, and how she wants everybody to make it and have it. And she don't have that jealous bone in her body. And she's is real or realer than me. You know, so I just I just love that about her. And I'm this is why I'm saying this, because a lot of us is walking not in our truth. We got to put on this mask every day. We got to put it on, um, you know, nails, hair just to feel wanted and needed. Uh, men out here got to put on these Gucci suits and these fashion suits just to get attention, get a new car. You know, just constantly stay on the grind just to look like somebody to somebody. But the real essence is your is your truth. You know, um, if someone does not like you because of your truth, then you don't need that person. You're entertaining the devil. And you will you will be called out for it. If you ever been in a relationship and they be like, Well, you fake, if you ever been called fake, phony, you fronting, then you are. You need to stop doing that and be yourself. Put that all that money that you was going to spend on that car and on that fashion suit in the bank. Take off the, all that makeup. Because if people around you that, that that's in your circle love you and they know the, the real, true, authentic you, the people outside going to love you the same way. And if you want all the same people outside to like you or love you just as much as the people inside stop doing all the stuff that you're doing on the outside and, and do the stuff that you're doing inside on the outside if that makes sense because people love you people want to be around you constantly you somebody's favorite uncle brother niece nephew son and and it, it if you only love by just one person like your parents, then that's different. But when you love by tons and tons of people, then that means there's a quality about you that nobody has. So when you go in these clubs or you go anywhere and you see somebody else turning up and they getting attention because of their money or they getting attention because of their looks, because they seducing and they showing all their assets, just know that's a temporary high. And even if they get the man or the woman, it's not going to last long. And and them people are getting in these relationships and they breaking up right away because they always in the club. They 30, 40 in the club still. Somebody don't like their style. Somebody don't like something about them as fine as they are or the cold, cold as they are or the how bad they are or how much money they have. They can't stay with nobody. So you got to know there's something flaw about them. And it's something that people see that's fake about them in, in the process of um, finding out who they really are. So it's so easier to be yourself. So, you know, you get meaningful relationships with you, yourself. You know, I can go to the club just like this. I promise you I can go to the club like this. I could take my hair. I could have my hair. You know, I'm going to do something like, you know, it's not cute like that. I just got a little braid and I pulled it out a little bit. But I can go to the bar like this. No makeup, no eyelashes, no nails, no nothing. Uh, and I can feel good. And I guarantee you, if I wasn't with somebody, I could pull somebody easy. 
because if one, if I get talked to once, one time by any man, it, it, he mine. You know, it's just how I talk and how how deep I get, and and it's a conversation that you won't get with nobody else. And I offer something that nobody offers, and it's quality instead of quantity and fakeness. You can see exactly what you're seeing right now here. You know, all you can know is it's going to get better than this if I throw on anything. You know, so I can wear no, no body out or nothing, and I can, I can catch because that's just how I move. And I know what I want, and I know how to get it. And I'm not scared to approach no man and say, how you doing? And you're you a nice-looking man. You married? Only way I won't get him is if he's faithful and he married. And I won't talk to him if he got a woman. If he's, But most men don't tell you that they got a woman. So you can't, you know, I can't say um, I can, um, that he ain't going to, he going to say I got a woman because he ain't going to say that. So I won't know. That's why I said I can get him no matter what, because I won't know he have a woman because I don't talk to other people's men at all. And you shouldn't either. Does it come back on you? You'd see all the um, singers and the rappers that was talking about people's getting people's men and all that, and they get into a serious relationship, and they they man is not off limits either. And the same thing you live by, you gotta you gotta live by. You got it keep it don't stop going because you get in a relationship. Them same females have the same mentality you used to. When you trying to do better for yourself, you trying to stop messing with other people's men then that's when they start doing it to you. And you got to eat that. You got to eat it because you was doing it to everybody else. But the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, you go in there and be like, oh, I'm going to kill the club. This is what they like. So I'm going to go all the way out and buy all this. I'm going to buy bottles. I'm going to do the most stuff because I want to be seen or liked for my materialistic stuff. You know, and that's just not how you're supposed to live. You're supposed to live um, in your truth. So if you don't feel like getting dressed up and you just want to, you know, have on some clean shoes and a little shirt and a, and a pants women too, go in your jogging suit to the club and you'll see like, wow, me ain't going to really try to talk to me like more than I thought you will see. Cause I done did it plenty of times. And so I had, I had a real bad habit of wearing heels with everything. I don't care if it's, a jogging suit. I always used to wear heels all the time. And and it was just odd to people. And they'd be like, you really got on this and you look rough and you got heels on? <laughs> you dressed up on your feet only. You know, it just, the it's intriguing. It's, it's, it's so different to people. Like you just have to be your own identity. Somebody is for you. And if they don't notice you, them is the people that you don't want them to notice you because they have, if they looking at you and you look like everybody else, you just got a different color on. You got weave long, it's down to your butt, just like everybody else. You know, the only thing that will distinguish you from the other women is if he have a talk with you and you sound better. It's just all about the, the conversation. But you look just like there's nothing that he's going to remember you by but your conversation. But what if he don't talk to you ever because he picking by sight? You know, it's just not, it's not, if he if he's just going to pick the body type he liked the most instead of the mind type. But if you come in there and he have a conversation with you looking like yourself and being yourself, then you you have more likelihood to have that man. And he still might not talk to you, but, but to have him not talk to you, you did all this stuff and you still don't get noticed. That's, that's major. Okay. So just be yourself and man, you know, you could be balling like a mug and what you going to do, buy more bottles than the other man. Cause a real in tune female is not going to pay attention to that anyway. You know, cause most of us that really is about that bread, um, you ain't giving it to us. We don't care. So stop believing that. Only people that make you look good is the people that really need your money. <laughs> the people who got their own money, they don't want, they don't care about that. And, and especially if, uh, like me, I used to talk to plenty ballers. I don't care about your little money. I don't care how much you spend it. If it ain't on me, I don't care. 
That's that's back in my day, though. I don't do all that no more. But I'm telling y'all, listen, be yourself. Men, get up. You say you're going to go out for some, you know, just eat you a regular meal. Don't over splash. Stop buying all this big ass. These big ass watches are so ugly. Don't nobody with money wear no big old watch. Y'all got to stop doing that. Oh, that's ugly. That is so uh, not classy. And, and, and you know, you look at Rolex and timepieces and, and stuff like that. They be all tasteful and smaller. Like they, they be, be, they be, ooh, that was a stutter right there. They be nice size. They be smaller, middle, middle. They don't be super huge with all these big ass buttons on it. You know, a real man that with money doesn't have all flashy stuff. You might not even know he's wearing Gucci or he has cufflinks that cost $10,000 or, you know, just little stuff like that. Like you, you just don't really know unless you know. You don't know that he has these special kind of shoes that's a different kind of material that you've never heard of before. You, you don't know it. They don't have all these uh, rhinestones and diamonds in their ears. They don't have all that. They might have a timepiece. They're going to have clean and they're going to smell so good because their cologne costs maybe three, four hundred, five hundred dollars $500, you know? So, like, seriously, y'all have to clean it up. If you, if you want to be chosen for you, clean up your style. Stop wearing your chest out button your stuff all the way up like a professional man and even if you wearing jeans and stuff you know you can wear jeans wear a nice little button up button it all the way up or you know you can wear your gym clothes because i like gym clothes too i like a man in gym clothes or whatever wear your gym clothes but be neat about it don't have it sagging all up you know you're gonna continue to get the females that you get with the the how you dress if you dress lazy with slouchy with your butt all out and all that, and and you just looking reckless. Um, you don't got no wallet, your money all in your pocket, you know, just pulling it out all se separate ways, and it ain't neat. You know, a boss female ain't going to look at that anyway, you know? And it's okay to have a raggedy wallet sometimes. You know, that, that shows consistency. That shows that you... You keep your stuff and you and you value your stuff. And and women, you gotta look at that. Some men have bad wallets. Some you know, you're looking for a man that that work. I'm leaving at twelve o'clock because I gotta be at work. Not I'm staying out till six o'clock. You know that's toxic. A man like that is not coming home. But I'm telling y'all, you just be yourself. Go out, girls, ladies. Take off all that makeup. Go out and have a good time. Don't even pay no attention to men like that. And just go out and have a good time. And go to places. And there is going to be a man that approach you because you're going to be liked by somebody. But then you can see how men, the men that you may like, are lusting over these other females that, that look all the same. Then you'll know what his, his end goal is. You'll know that he is looking for seduction. He's not looking for a wife. You know, he looking for a seduction. He don't get the, he's a tunnel vision into that only. He's not looking into, I want to be with somebody. That would separate the actors from the factors. And you will have an easier chance and a better chance of finding who you want to find by just going out yourself. And I can prove it to y'all. I will show y'all how I can go out and they'll just talk to me. And I'll be turning them down just like how I look right now. I go out just like no makeup, no nothing. Just go out. And don't go out when it's a whole bunch of people in the club. You want to go out when it's like football night or, you know, a whole bunch of minging out. And just, you know, just go out and, and talk to men and smile and laugh. And people going, you know, love your smile, especially if you got pretty teeth like I do. They love it. 
They love it. It's just something about you. They don't know what it is. But when God put that light on you, girl, when when God put that light on you, man, whoo, because he put that light on my man to make me like him. I've been talking to him for three or four years, and all of a sudden, God said, boom. He he got that light on him. You're going to like him. When they put when they, he put that light on 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 you or him, it, it ain't no turning back. You can't like each other because it was meant for y'all to talk or date. Y'all was in the right place at the right time. Y'all women that stay in the house constantly. Y'all go out to karaoke, go out to gang light night. If you don't like the game, start liking the game. Try to learn it. You know, have something in common for your men that that y'all can talk about. You know, go out to um, watch the debates and just go out to value place. Go to the the stock uh, marketplace, you know, where they trade at. Just where you want to meet quality men, go to the um, Nation of Islam, to the mosque. They got solid men over there. Um, You know, start following people that's of substance. Erase all the people that you got on your timeline that is low quality that's getting your mind to thinking like it's been thinking all these years and change the way of thinking to make you compare yourself to people stop following people that you will compare yourself to don't follow nobody that's that's making you feel like oh i gotta get my weight up you're fine you're good enough somebody is gonna love you and want you and if you want a bad female um Tell the, tell the females that you think is bad to take all that stuff out. Because I'm pretty sure you, all the years you've been living, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you had a lot of bad females in your life, and you're not with them. So how bad are they really? Okay. Most of them look worse than me or just like me or a little better than me when they take off all that makeup and stuff. So get used to seeing women like normal like this. If you can be around female that don't have no nails on, don't have no, you know, too much done to her hair, you know, even if she do pop out, because I'm going out to Dallas this week and I'm going, I'm finna dress up. So y'all might see something from then. But, but the point is, what I'm saying is, find you a female that you like without all that stuff. And then when she get dressed up, you're going to like just, just, just as much. But if you can love a female every day looking regular, then you can love a female every day looking regular or cute. Love yours. Whatever you got, love it. Because I promise you, when you're good to that one man or one woman, every man, that's why girls always say, when I get you, every woman going to want you. When I touch a, a dude, every woman want him. And vice versa. Because they know I don't mess with just no any type of dude. So when you faithful to your man or your woman and you really get down with them and, and they look regular, they ain't got to put on no extra show or nothing. They like, they like them. People want what they can't have. It's not, it's not your money. It's not your, just your seductive spirit. It's, they want what they don't think they can have. So regular, whether you regular or not, if they feel like they can't have you like they want to, just because they they balling or they got a bad body, you conquered the mission already. So just think different, move different. I'm telling y'all, because I might dress up one time in Dallas. I probably have nice clothes on, but I might not do my makeup like that. But my daughter is a makeup artist, so she probably going to want to do my face all the time. That's what she do to sell her stuff. So I might be looking different, y'all. Don't be thinking I'm trying to be on no other stuff when I get on here now. I'm just kicking it with my family. And my daughter, like I said, is a makeup artist, so I'm going to be looking different. But uh, I won't be every day. I'm going to be out and about, and I'm going to be looking like this too unless she decides to do my makeup again. But I, my clothes going to be regular probably. I don't know. This girl be having me. She like to turn up. So, but I'm just telling y'all, I, I got her on being herself and, you know, sometimes and, and doing her thing and being her beautiful self inside and out. Cause your inside match, you know, I was looking at that popping balloon stuff and a woman was out. She was pretty 
And every man popped a balloon because she came out like, what up? Like she was just like real aggressive. Her whole form was, she looked it so different when she spoke. As she had been like, hey guys, how you doing? Or just, how's everybody? Feminine energy, she would have had every one of them men, but she was so beautiful and she got all the balloons popped. Didn't nobody want her. That tell you something. It don't matter about the looks all the time. It matter. Now, if you have your ass and titties out, they're going to want to have sex with you, but nothing else. So y'all just keep that in mind. I just wanted to tell y'all, be yourself men. We love you. There's women out here that we love you without your money. We looking for a man that we, if y'all can find, hello, we out here. A lot of women are saying that. We out here, you look at the girl right next to us because she got a bad body. But we right here in your face and we nice to you every day. It's the person that you go to the doctor's office and she's sweet as hell to you. Or or the person that work at the, the cashier counter at the grocery store and she's so nice to you. But every time you see something that distracts you, you don't even see her. She right there. Look at the people that you ignore and that you see every day on your way to work, on your way off from work, where you go go to the club that's working and not dancing and they working. You know, just look at y'all need to look at that. And women, there's men that work hard every day, drive your city buses, uh, clean your carpets, your mailman, something. They they everywhere. Stop looking for these balling niggas. That's that. Ooh, I'm not supposed to say that. My apologies. That's that's a bad word that I always say. These balling brothers, that's that's out here trying to impress everybody. He ain't gonna never focus on you because he he trying to impress everybody, even himself. So y'all get y'all stuff together and start making a difference in your own life. And you'll see when you're not looking and you ain't trying, that's when God lets you acquire everything you want. When you realize your purpose in life is to do good and do what you're supposed to do for whatever you're here for. And then all of a sudden, everything going to happen for you. You're going to be like, damn, I ain't even trying. Most people that give up from trying so hard is, is you know, then they start being they self. They still try, but they don't do more extra stuff than they can do. They just try, you know, but they don't do more than what they supposed to do. They just give it they all, but they don't go overly trying to impress nobody. They do it for themselves. Just I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Just be yourself. Because I promise you, when I when I'm myself, I get so much better accomplishments in my life everything goes smoothly and i don't agree to everything if you don't like it don't agree to it if you don't and don't be around it if you don't like something why are you around stuff just to look good or you, you just to fit in stop fitting in and fit out stop um encouraging people that you know is on pure bull and that is in on a destructive pattern just because you're jealous of them or or you really don't like them. You let them be on a crash course and you ain't saying nothing. I'm telling you, you look stupid. I think you should stop doing that. That's just my opinion. And you'll see that my opinion really matters one day. But I, I'm not the one to sit around and let you do this to yourself. But I love y'all. I ain't going to be on here for a long time. I just wanted to ramble about how you important it is to be yourself please subscribe to my channel again like i said before and um keep looking at my longer videos my longer videos speak more you know sometimes you got to get in the middle of the video to hear what i'm really trying to say because once i get a flow and i hear myself talking i um you know my thoughts start kicking in you know cuz i don't i don't really don't like to talk on cameras or none of that i'm really like a one-on-one -on -one talking to a person and and i'm really like a feedback talker i'm not no person that uh just talks into a camera that ain't talking back to to me so it's weird for me but um, i'm working on it um i love y'all i hope i spit some real stuff to y'all 
I say a lot of stuff and I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. Please excuse me if I slip up at the tongue and say the wrong stuff and I, I immediately check myself and I'm working on it. And I need to start taking these vocabularies out of my regular talking when I'm talking amongst my friends and family so I won't slip up and say it in here. So I'm going to work on that right now. But um, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all and um, be yourself. All right.